these are the ingredients for daddy's tea cakes. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Diane's Decorating and More. Thank you so much for joining my channel today. Today I have a special treat for you. I'm going to be making my daddy's tea cakes. Yes, tea cakes. That was one of his favorite treat for us on the weekends when we would get in from school. And so uh, my niece, Shauna, is having open house and she asked me if I would bake grandpa's tea cakes. So I'm gonna show you today exactly how I make them. And I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers and supporters out there. Thank you so much for showing me your love and your kindness and showing that you like my videos and what I produce here on my channel. And to you newcomers, thank you for tuning in and stopping by my channel, Diane's Decorating and More. Hope you enjoy the videos that you see and share and subscribe so you can see what is added on the channel. Okay, so without any further ado, we're going to get started. I have taken a shot of all of the ingredients I use in this particular batch of tea cakes. Okay. And you can go back to that and see what you would have to purchase in terms of making these tea cakes. And also I will put the information in the content section of the video, okay? All right, everything is at room temperature. Everything's been cleaned, sanitized, and we are ready to go. All right, so we're gonna get started with our butter, okay? And it takes two sticks of butter. All right, so we're gonna do that first. Get that done. Okay. These tea cakes, guys, you will enjoy them. Okay, they are so tasty. Um, my mother, she made tea cakes as well as my dad and hers was a little different her tea cakes was soft and fluffy <laughs> dad's was kind of semi-soft but had that crunchy taste to it <laughs> so you'll get a chance to see exactly what i do in terms of making um his takes his tea cakes um, similar, just a little similar to the way he did it, okay? And hopefully mine's will come out crunchy too. <laughs> I think his trick was the baking soda, okay? And I also think his trick was buttermilk because my dad loved buttermilk no matter what he would be snacking on. <laughs> if it was bread-based, he had a glass of buttermilk to go with it. So I'm thinking that's his trick. All right, so we're gonna get started here. I'm going to mix uh, the butter until it is fluffy, okay? So I won't show all of this because of the sound of the mixer, but I'll just get started on that part and then I'll come back and show you exactly what happens, okay? <laughs> I'm 
want to show you exactly what the whip cutter looks like. Hope the camera does that justice. All right, that's what it looks like. That's the consistency you want to see, which takes about five minutes with this type of little hand mixer here to whip it to that consistency, okay? So that's what you want to see. All right, so now we're going to put our two eggs in, okay, one at a time. This is only two. Hopefully I can get this to go right. Oops, okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we got <laughs> that in there. All right, we're gonna whip that in there, okay. All right, very quick. until you can get that incorporated in there, okay? So put the second egg in there, the final egg. All right. Put that in. down the bowl there. So we should get all that in there. All right. Make sure we get all it from the sides. All right. There we go. We'll do it like this. All right. Now, I'm going to whip it just a few more times there. Until it's well incorporated, okay? Break down. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get this out of there as well. And I'll let you see what that looks like the eggs in the butter there whipped all up okay all right all right and that's what you pretty much want to see okay that means it's well incorporated together and you're ready for your sugar all right so as it said on the ingredients there that I share with you uh, we use uh, two cups of sugar, okay, for this particular one. My mom's, I think she used less than that, which was like a one and a half cup. But dad, he likes sugar, <laughs> okay. So his, I remember him having a little plastic cup, and it was like, you know, he would add that in there as he mixed it. So I remember seeing two cups. And pour two cups of that in there. Okay.
Okay, this is the consistency now of the butter, the sugar, and the eggs, okay? And that whip for about another five minutes, okay? That's what you want to see. It does that justice like that, okay? So, all right, now we're ready to add in our flour, okay? And as you saw in the clip, um, it was the gold metal flour, and that's what I grew up seeing my mom cook with, okay? Um, so that's what I use, and that's what we had at home, so I'm going to assume that that's what Papa or what Daddy <laughs> um, used as well there at the house um, when he was baking his little tea cakes, all right? So, yeah. That's what you can use, all right? I've already sifted the flour, baking powder, soda, salt. Um, what else did I say that we had in there? Um, it was one other thing. Um, nutmeg. I think it was nutmeg. Yeah, a teaspoon of nutmeg. If I didn't mention that or show that clip of the nutmeg, guys, make sure you use that, okay? One, one teaspoon of nutmeg, okay? I'll put that in the, the um, comment section of the video for you guys. All right, so we're gonna alternate between the milk and the flour, okay? All right, so we're gonna do this. Gonna add this in here a little bit at a time, okay? All right. say our buttermilk a little bit at a time a little bit at a time okay and I did take my flavors which is vanilla and almond okay and I used a little of this too this is that new version that I was gonna start using in my cakes going forward which is made by Superior and it's called the uh, vanilla butter and nut flavor okay and remember, I said in my previous video, you find this on Amazon, okay? This is the one that I grew up watching my mom use uh, in her kitchen, okay? And I'm so glad that I found it. All right, so we're going to continue here. we're at the almost final phase here of putting the tea cakes together okay I've taken the dough and I've put it on a flour surface here which is my counter it's been clean and everything so now we are going to um, go ahead and mix in some of the flour with the um, batter here um, and then we will uh, continue on okay It's just a process of just mixing it in on all sides, okay, until it is well incorporated into the batter. Okay, so now we've gotten it shaped and molded out like we want here. All right, and my hands are a little floury, but okay, so yeah. This is what it looks like, guys. Your little tea cake, okay? <laughs> tea cake batter here, okay? And as you can see, it's still kind of soft. It's still soft like that. So what I'm gonna do is put it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna put it in one of my little bowls here. And I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, okay? And then we're gonna come back and roll it out and 
when we are going to start shaping our tea cakes, okay? I wanted to show you that part so you'll know exactly what I do in terms of um, the steps in making the tea cakes, all right? Okay, and now we're back. We have taken our dough out of the refrigerator for being in there for about an hour, and we're ready to roll this door out okay and putting a little powder a little powder you can see flour <laughs> put some flour on there all right just to make sure that it packs okay all right okay then we're gonna flour our rollers too okay all right this is my mother-in-law's roller. <laughs> Bless her heart. Okay. Okay. And I did put this on wax paper. Um, I'm not sorry. Well, not wax paper. I did put the dough on parchment paper. Okay, to make it easier for me to roll out. Okay, I'm gonna try and stay within this square because it kind of helped me to keep my measurements on point. So that's what I like to use when I'm um, making uh, anything that I have to roll out. I use that as like a little measuring to help me roll out my dough. cakes out of this dough as possible. I'm going to roll it out guys to about maybe a quarter of an inch in uh, thickness. Um, oh yeah. Alright. I love putting dough in the refrigerator before you touch it for about an hour because you, you don't have to fight with it as much. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. That does about, yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. So now we got that all done. I hope you can see that. Let's see. Yeah. My camera. Okay. There we go. Okay. I wanted you to see that. I'm going to step off and I'm going to get our cutter and we're going to come back and we're going to start cutting our circles out for our tea cakes. Okay, now we are back and I wanted to show you this before we um, get started on cutting the tea cakes out. I have a pan here, okay, I've already prepared the pan, I sprayed it Give it a little oil in there for our tea cakes, okay? All right. So now we're going to get started. I'm using one of these round ones here, okay? Um, I find that works best for me. And during the holiday time when people are baking, um, they do this as well. And they also um, use different shapes. Okay, according to the season. So, this is one of those that I use at that time as well. Okay? And you just press in and cut it. Okay. get as much as 
out of it as you can. Okay. All right. So, and I'll show you exactly what these look like right quick. If I can get, there we are. Okay. There we go. So that's what they're going to look like. So you can see that close up. See the little ridges around from the cutter, okay? And we're going to place these on our pan. And I'll come back and show you what exactly that looks like as well. Okay, and this is a snapshot of the tea cakes placed on the sheet here. Okay, before they go in the oven. As I said, I will come back and show you guys the end result of the tea cakes. And these are fresh out of the oven. It's still warm. Okay, the pan is still warm, so I assume they are warm uh, as well. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you the end result of baking these lovely little tea cakes. Okay. Um, I still have another batch over there I have to put in the oven, but I wanted to make sure I give you a quick look before I start handling them. And I'll give you some final shots on how I set it up and prepare to take them, okay? Once again, thank you so much for joining me here on Diane's Decorating and More. Hope you enjoy this video. Please do share and subscribe. Okay, see you next time in the next video. Blessings.